everyone. No cutscenes. Jeff here. Back with another Fallout 4 video. And today, I have probably my favorite mod so far. It's the Manufacturing Extended mod. Now, what it does is it gives you just everything that, now thinking back on it, should have been included in the Contraptions DLC. So let's just go through uh, what you get, yeah. So as you have the Builder, now you have Recycler, which just breaks down junk. Anything that goes through it, say goes into its inventory, it'll break down into the base component of junk and then just send it out and you can have it sorted, you can have it go straight into another build or whatever. Now, we also have an Auto Butcher. This thing's fucking amazing. Any creatures or humans that you put in it, basically feed into it, you know, they'll be butchered. <laughs> and um, I have one set up here and good rule of thumb is put a food processor right after it. If um, you don't have all the ingredients, of course, you can use like a component extractor, which is included in this. Basically, this is a vacuum hopper, but what it does is it will pull components from your inventory depending on what is in its inventory. It doesn't just pull everything. It only pull specific components. So you can get really, really specific with what you want to do, and it pulls them out four at a time. Now, I will warn you, it does cause some problems with jamming. And it's just unfortunate. I hope there's a patch. Now, also we have faction auto loom, faction clothing, fist weapons, melee weapons. I mean, it gives you just a lot more. And power armor, like it's dope. You can do power armor frames, T45s, T60s, XL1s, whatever. It's really, really cool. So, also, now, robot disassembler. Pretty much it functions as the auto butcher, but for robots. I have one set up here, and I have, of course, some robots that I've been building and then just murdering. And we'll go ahead and we'll put them through. Um, it's really cool. It's kind of like a neat way if, say, you were in survival and you were really scrapped for resources and you got invaded or something in your settlement and you had a bunch of robots and just one of them died or even one of your settlers died, you have an auto butcher, bam, you got some meat, you got some robotics parts too. I, I'm really looking forward to kind of just seeing what I can do with all this. I haven't been playing around much with it. This is actually probably my like, you know, third or fourth hour with it maybe. Yeah, so it's uh, not a lot yet, but you will see it in the future, that's for sure. Now, we also have vault tech, basic vault tech, pretty much every vault, I think, so, yeah. And the auto distillery, Nuka-Cola, alcohol, drinks, beverages, all stuff like that. So yeah, they include everything, or uh, he, them, she, I, I don't know, it's a... Uh, I do not know the name of the person who makes them out. I will definitely link it in the description though. It's available on Nexus, of course, for PC, but it is now out for consoles as well. Or for Xbox One. Sorry, PlayStation 4 people. But it's already ready for y'all when that stuff comes out. Now, also, there is a difference between these two storage things that you'll get. Of course, you have the normal conveyor storage, which just functions like a container. Conveyor Workshop Storage stores everything that goes into it directly back into the workshop. So that's how you can kind of get like these infinite loops where you break down components, sort things out to say like a builder or a loom that you want to build. Those components go specifically there. Everything else that you've say broken down from a robot or just whatever goes back into your inventory and then it can be sorted down again if you say want to expand on that. Now, this one here, just to show you kind of what uh, what you can do with it. We'll just go ahead and run a little, little demonstration now. See, it comes out really fast and it only pulls out, of course, the components. It functions like a component sorter except it will pull items from your uh, entire workshop inventory. You just have to place one of like the crafting stations down. That's all you gotta do. It's really cool. Um, yeah. And then this we got here. I just filled that container used a vacuum hopper because I knew exactly specifically the ones you can do. You cannot use like any sort of aid, so no meat. Um, it, it's only components with these component extractors, and, and that's understandable. 
because they do have the vacuum hopper, so you can do everything. So you, you're pretty much covered. But let's let's go ahead and show you all the robot disassembler. It's just it's cool, you know. Like honestly, you could have gotten by without having this. Maybe like the auto butcher is good because you can of course do all the wasteland stuff, and you know you have the robots. But this is I, I love this shit. So. It just disappears, and as you'll see, you'll know it's working when it just presses up and down. If it's just sending stuff through, it's not. So, it, it's very telling of what it actually does. Now, I don't think this guy fits through if we put his head first. You just have to turn him around, but as you can see, just before it was asbestos, now you got a power relay coil, you have circuitry, copper, aluminum, steel, and a couple fuses. So, what does that mean? Basically, whenever the asbestos goes through completely, all the rest of that stuff will go through. The power relay coil will be broken down by the recycler, so that's why you have the recycler after a robotics disassembler. And uh, the fuse will be broken down as well. But other than that, the components will just spread, pass through, yeah. And, um, but as you can see, the other robot went through fine. He ended up making more fuses and shit, so yeah. And what I set up here was just a switch because I wanted to make it kind of half whatever materials go in uh, will go to each uh, builder essentially and it kind of worked out kind of didn't but I knew I had so many materials or so many components like literally tens of thousands of each of them that I could just run this for hours and it would eventually um, get the components of each of those builders for what they you know needed to build so yeah I knew I could do that um, and Ever since the fucking mods, I've just been going crazy. I love it. So, I'll show you here at the Auto Butcher. Spawn some human. Go to our cheat menu, take him out. Sorry, buddy. It's for science. Now, it's weird. It says, like, sometimes, you know, of course, you can't move the body. It's too heavy, and then you just take the clothes away. Like, I, I don't get it. You can you not lift literally, like, four more pounds, but whatever. It functions the same way as the robot disassembler. It'll take him in, pump up and down. Know that it's working. About five seconds later, you're uh, you're gonna see some human parts. You know, so there you go. You got human meat. You got all the bones and shit. And you can, of course, you know, just take it out and use it as like junk. You can put it. You can put a recycler afterwards, so it goes down to bone and just breaks it down. Yeah, it, there's a lot you can do with it. Yeah. Let's take a look at components that you'll need to build some of these things now. It can get pretty complex for power armor, especially once you get to the better ones like the XO one. But for a T51, which has all the fucking awesome paint jobs, pretty easy. So, yeah, there was that one. But now, essentially, you'll see some of the things actually being made. We have one of the Vault Tech Security Armor. With the mods I have, you can wear pretty much anything. So, yeah, it just fits underneath. Pretty cool. And um, we got this making cram now uh yeah <laughs> i love this shit and as you'll see vault tech stuff security armor right in the inventory because down below we had that uh workshop container just basically you know dumping everything back into the workshop so it works really well now we got some power armor being made and it's cool like it, it works like that's what i love about uh, this mod, like I've run it for so long and it works. It, you will get some jams, but they're not that bad. As long as if you shut down things or just stop power to save one of your builders, you'll be fine. Now again, this is what I was saying with those vault Tech armor pieces. Same with the whiskey. Goes right in. We have it. So that's it, y'all. It's really cool. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Even though tonight is just short and sweet. Manufacturing Extended Mods. Bye.